What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I'd like to talk about the Atlanta Falcons offensive line, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content or when I've done NFL content. If you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jew Talk Sports. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jew Talk Sports. And if you'd like to be a part of my Jew Talk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. But with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So in today's video, as I mentioned, I do want to talk about the Atlanta Falcons offensive line and why the Atlanta Falcons offensive line is quietly a top five unit in the NFL. Um, as you guys know, uh, Arthur Smith was let go as our head coach uh, at the end of last season. And Coach Dwayne Letford um, was our offensive uh, lines coach under Arthur Smith, uh, under his regime. And he was retained uh, by our new head coach, Raheem Morris. And I believe that this was a good move by our Atlanta Falcons to keep Dwayne Letford uh, here as the offensive lines coach. Um, because to me, he's done a really, really good job at developing these guys that are on the offensive line. And if you guys remember, prior to Arthur Smith taking over as our head coach uh, under Dan Quinn, uh, we didn't really uh, play well uh, late in Dan Quinn's regime. Our offensive line you know, gave up a lot of sacks. Uh, Matt Ryan was really beat up uh, at the end of Dan Quinn's regime. And I really feel like Coach Dwayne Letford, Arthur Smith, uh, he did a good job of rebuilding this offensive line um, and, you know, retooling uh, the guys that we had on the roster, bringing in guys like Chris Lindstrom, bringing in guys like Caleb McGarry, and then last season bringing in uh, Matthew Bergeron, um, bringing in a guy in Drew Dahlman at that center position. And I really feel like, um, you know, this offensive line is like night and day. Um, you know, they look really, really good the last couple seasons. Uh, we, you know, changed the mindset of being a team that was a run first team under Arthur Smith. And I really feel like Dwayne Leffer did a good job of establishing, um, you know, an aggressive mindset with our offensive line. And Dwayne Leffer is one of those guys that played in the NFL, um, also coached on the collegiate level, not only as an offensive uh, lines coach, but also as a strength and conditioning coach. So he is one of those fiery coaches, and he's done a really, really good job with this offensive line with our Atlanta Falcons. I do believe that we have a top five offensive line in the NFL at this point, and that's why I expect Kirk Cousins to be protected. I expect us to have a really big um, year on the offensive side of the ball um, because you guys know that the trenches are important. You guys know I talk a lot about the defensive line, but the offensive line is also very important as well, and I really feel like that was one of the reasons last year that the Detroit Lions made it all the way to the NFC Championship game and really should have won that game was because they have one of the best offensive lines uh, quietly in the NFL as well. So I really feel like everything starts up front, both on the offensive line and defensive line. And the Falcons, to me, have done a great job of scouting uh, offensive line players, scouting different guys, and then also bringing in guys. And now these guys finally meshing these uh, you know, the five guys that we have up front, Drew Dahlman, you know, Matthew Bergeron, who they added last season, Jake Matthews, uh, Chris Lindstrom and Caleb McGarry. These guys have been together. That core unit has been together the last couple years. And I feel like those guys are only going to get better, um, you know, as they age and as they grow together. So I definitely think that Dwayne Lefford has done a really good job of developing these guys. And I feel like these guys have really bought into the system. Uh, now that we have uh, this new system coming in under Zach Robinson. I'm interested to see how well these guys play with more passing schemes and things of that nature. But I do think that these guys will take the next step um, this season um, under Zach Robinson and under, you know, Dwayne Let uh, Letford's leadership. So with that being said, you guys give me your thoughts on Co uh, Coach Dwayne Letford and also this offensive line. Do you believe that we have a top five unit in the NFL? Personally, I think we have a top five unit easily. Could be a top three unit. Um, but with that being said, I have a lot more content coming for you guys. As always, uh, Falcons Nation, rise up, be blessed. Peace.